Can he do it? He's not set up too well. Why is that? I think his trailer's a bit too far away, but I could be wrong. He's got lighting issues and, and everything to deal with here. He's got very poor lighting on this side, so he's... This one's going to be difficult. This is difficult and good lighting. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty tight spot. That's a pretty tight spot. <laughs> Again, guys, sorry about the glare. It's the way the windshield is and such, but... Uh... Well, and then you have that large mercury vapor light right there, which... Uh... I don't know. He's, he's watching the other side, obviously. He's clear on this side, so... He's doing it partially right in that he's trying to keep as close as possible to the other truck on that side to, you know, maximize the amount of room he has on this side. Still in this situation, once he gets in a position with his tandems next to the nose of that truck where he knows he's going to clear it, he should stop and get out to double check and make sure for this side. He hasn't got himself into a position where he's satisfied with the position next to the other truck on his sighted side yet. Because you just you just never know. I mean, you can guesstimate where the trailer is on that side, that truck right there, but you don't know until you get out and look. You see, at this point, if he's cleared on the other side, were I him, I would get out now and look. How long because you... although we can see that he's going to clear, I don't know. Uh huh. Maybe he's going to look. I see feet. Yeah, he's gotten out. He's he's checking both sides. That's smart, also to go down your sighted side to make sure you, of, that there's no obstructions on that side that you're not aware of and to check your clearance on your blind side. He's actually in good shape in this position now. I don't know what position his steering tires are in. He should be in a position to get under the trailer again. So. He's obviously satisfied with his positioning. What do you mean, get under the trailer? To 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 bring your your tractor back under to get in line with the trailer. Now see, he's okay. Now he knows the other side better than we do, because we obviously can't see the other side. He can. Now he's he's got himself in a position now where he's going to have to pull up because. He didn't start, you know, turning to get his... Tr that's what I mean by getting under the trailer. If you're under and in line with the trailer, that's getting under the trailer. Okay, obviously he's under the trailer, but see, now he's coming back around. He's, he's done this correctly. This man knows how to back in. I would agree. He's taking his time. He's trying to check all of his clearances. He's doing a really nice job. He's taking his time looking for, at front clearances, side clearances, and he backed into a more difficult spot than either the Buell truck or the one next to us on this side had. He had a harder back than either one of them because of the fact that he got out and looked. He only had to pull up a couple of times. Less work for him. No damage to any equipment. And now I would be willing to wager that he's going to determine that he's in there crooked. So he should pull up and straighten it out. The other good thing that I like about this guy is he doesn't have his lights on like a jackass. Yes, if you're watching this and you drive, if you're in a parking lot, Parking lights, okay. Headlights, don't. 
they make it more difficult for other people to see while they're while they're trying to maneuver. And although I thought he was crooked, he's in there fairly straight. He did a really nice job. Uh, that's uh, that's how you want to do it. That's that's a good lesson on how to get into a to a poorly lit, narrow, straight spot without a lot of maneuvering room. You heard it here first, people. Uncle Michael, the great mentor. The man with the million dollar... Well, I give you about a $500,000 voice. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Get you on your feet again.